you guys so i'm going to show you how to make some money low levels high levels whatever while you're waiting on a duplication glitch or other ways to make money pacific standard it is a job in your heist room in your apartment so you have to have at least a high-end apartment which i think the cheapest one is around 195 or 200,000 del perro have to have a high-end apartment there's going to be about five heists you have to do the final heist that you're going to have to get through is pacific standard so when you launch Pacific Standard, there's a repeat glitch inside of Pacific Standard where you can keep making about seven hundred and fifty to eight hundred and fifty thousand. Well, as you're doing this, you need you need four players to do this, and you definitely want to be have a group of people that are on headsets because this requires communication. If you're gonna do it the glitch way, so that you guys can keep the money and you can keep making money. So if you have a team, if you have somebody else or another friend that has is at Pacific Standard Heist too. Y'all both can go back and forth giving each other 60% um, or 70% and giving the two other fillers, um, giving the two other fillers 15 to 20%. Normally people want 20%. Sometimes people get away with it with 15% with 70-15 split. But I normally do a 60-20 split. So the host um, and the co-host, they each swap. So if you you have to run it twice so each at least twice so each person can get paid each person that hosts it gets paid so um so like the first time the host of it is going to take zero percent and then split the rest of the money between the three people usually the other hosts will take sixty percent the two fillers will take twenty percent each which twenty percent gives them two hundred and fifty thousand and it gives the host um seven hundred and fifty thousand so, but once you run it twice, that two hundred and fifty thousand, they're gonna get the two hundred and fifty thousand twice. So that means they're gonna make five hundred thousand. The two fillers, and the other um, host, because one host has to take zero because they're gonna be quitting out. Um, the, the other host is gonna get the seven fifty. So sixty twenty keeps the two hosts making seven hundred and fifty thousand, and the fillers making about five hundred thousand. Well, five hundred thousand between running it twice. So this is my team that I got together. We're all on the headphones together. Um, what you you want to make sure that you have a person who is a 120 or better set as crowd control, because when you have them set as crowd control, they have an RPG. To keep your intimidation from going down, all you have to do is pull out an RPG. But it has to, you have to have well, at least one team member that is a 120 or better. If not, you're going to be having to shoot around. If all of y'all are low levels, everybody that's playing this with you are low levels, you can either use the pointing finger by tapping in the right stick uh, twice, and you can point the finger in them that keeps the intimidation, or you can... Um, or you can just be shooting around them, but it's a lot going on, so it's easier just to have one person pull out an RPG, and that keeps the crowd under control. So this is where you're going to be doing the splits. I am I am the host, so I'm taking 0% because I am the one quitting out of this mission so that I can always go back to Pacific Standard without having to do any setups. This is a repeat glitch. So this is a money repeat glitch. You can keep doing this over and over again with your friends and being able to make money. Everybody's making money. Um, without having to go through setups. So this is why you want to have this mission. This is why you want to do this correctly. There's going to be a certain point that me as the host, I'm going to have to quit out. So you definitely want to, um, the, also the host cannot be the hacker. The hacker is the one, or he cannot be the one carrying the money. So I can, I'm crowd control. Um, I'm a higher level so I can be crowd control. You also want to make sure everybody has heavy heist gear. If you do not have heavy heist gear, you want to make sure that person is in the bank or staying in the bank or is the hacker because they're going to be the one hiding the most. The hacker needs to stay in the bank. So if you do not know how to get heavy heist gear, all you got to do is to go to any store, go up to the counter, um, to the little clerk at the counter, press right on the D-pad, and you choose an outfit. You go down to outfits, and you go to heavy heist combat and you purchase the heavy heist gear and then you save it press x to save it as one of your outfits so you definitely want to for pacific standard you definitely want to have heavy heist gear because it's going to be a lot of shooting it's a it's a little bit of a long mission so definitely make sure your team has heavy heist gear
Um, so yeah, the intro part is relatively easy. You just usually people just use this just to show off their cars or whatever it is, because you just drive into the bank. And then once everybody gets there, you're gonna get a cut screen. You're gonna hit that yellow marker, and then there's another yellow marker that'll pop up by the door once everybody is there. Sorry, right, so we're getting in the bank and we're gonna get straight to it. Easy enough. The, the demolition, the person who you put on demolition is the first person to act. They need to go straight to the door. When you go in, you do not want to kill any hostages because when you kill hostages, GTA 5's version of the SWAT team, they're called Noose, they come out. And you do not want to have to deal with Noose when we're doing the under the map with the bikes. So you just kill the cops. And then the higher levels put out, pull out on the people that are on crowd control. Uh, it only has to be one, but at least one carrying an RPG. We got three people out with the RPG while demolition is in there. But you only need one person out with an RPG just standing in the lobby. And that will keep your intimidation. See, our intimidation is full. It'll keep your intimidation from going down. Again, when you are doing the under the map with the bikes, you do not want to kill any hostages. If you're trying to do the armored car way, then you have to kill the hostages to get the armored car. So demolition is, is going through the doors. I'm taking it because everybody else has a um, RPG. I know one person's over there with the RPG, the other crowd control, and see the intimidation isn't going down. There are going to be guards coming through this door. You can throw tear gas down here or up here, and this will take out the guards. Or you can send somebody back up here, like demolition can come back up. Or you can stand on the table with an RPG. As long as you don't shoot down at the ground, the hacker's going to be doing this. Okay, so, yeah, he's going to be, just to show you guys, it's relatively easy. All, that's all the hacker's going to be doing to unlock the bank, um, the bank vault. It's a simple little hack. But yeah, so all I'm going to be doing, if you want to, you like you can um, RPG up there. Just do not hit the ground, because if you if you RPG on the ground, you're going to kill all the hostages. It has to be pointed directly up there. You're going to start seeing little red dots coming. You kind of can watch them and watch them coming up the steps, but they're going to start to disappear with that tear gas up there. You're going to notice that I, you know I think I might shoot up there once or twice. But the red dots are going to show up, and then they're just going to like start disappearing because the tear gas is killing them. So you only want one person to get the money. So it could be the hacker. Um, normally, with under the map with the bikes, you want the other person who knows how to ride, who is driving the bikes with you under the map. You want that person to pick up the money. So they need to be hacker or demolition. So because if they pick up the money, there's going to be somebody else on their bike. So when y'all are getting shot at by the cops and they're the one driving the bike, but somebody else is sitting behind them, the person behind them is going to be taking the shots. So you're not going to be losing money. So you definitely want um, the another person who knows how to do the bike glitch to be the one picking up the money. They don't have to be hacker. They can be demolition. They can be hacker or demolition. But you definitely want them to be the one um, picking up the money so that when you get on the bikes, when y'all are getting shot, the money is not getting shot and you're not losing money as you're doing it. If you want to get the money faster, another way to get the money to go up fast as you're collecting money, hold, tap up on the D-pad as you're tapping A. Tap up on the D-pad as you're tapping A, and that will make you collect the money faster. So you see how I just shot a rocket? I killed the person up there, but I'm just pointing up there. I killed him because I think he, got, he snuck past the tear gas, but everybody else had died before they even came through the door from the tear gas. But it's, a, it's going to be about 8 to 10 people up there that's going to try to come out. So you always want to have somebody on guard at that top door. Once you see it's at 1.25, that's how much money you got, you want to um, come over to the back. The person who is collecting the money does not need to go out the door until 
the streets are clear. Everybody has to leave out, touch the bottom of the steps. Um, but it really only takes two people to do the run. Everybody does not have to run down there and hit all the checkpoints. The way that we're doing this, we're going to be glitching this. So the money needs to stay in the bank and hide. The, how we're doing it, the people that have the heavy heist gear, they're going out there. We're going to blow up the cops. And because we didn't kill any hostages, it's only one armored car, there's no noose. So all you're doing is destroying this whole area, getting the cops out the way, and you're going to have your other players, people who may not have heavy high gear on right now, or, or, didn't, or the person with the money, you're going to have them in the bank. And then you're going to tell them once that area is clear, you're going to tell them to step outside the bank, touch the bottom of the steps like you just did, go back inside. All they got to do is hit that little checkpoint, touch the bottom of the steps, go back inside. So now we're about to make the run. Without noose, this is easier, but the heavy heist gear, of course, makes you slow, so it's easier to jump with the heavy heist gear. But he's gonna, I'm going to be making the run, and he's going to be backing me up. Some people can do it. I can definitely do it without you know, the backup, but it's to keep it safe so you don't have any dumb reasons to fail. It's good to have somebody who at least knows how to do the run as well. All you're doing is trying to get out of this area and hit these checkpoints. So there's a checkpoint up on that roof. You see those yellow dots? And then under here, there's another checkpoint. You just got to walk over there and you'll see the checkpoint. See how it just disappeared? You got to hit all of those or it'll tell you out of area. Right here, if your teammate wants to, there's going to be a helicopter that spawns. A lot of rolling and auto aims, but the heavy high gear, this is why you need heavy high gear. So yeah, he just took out the helicopter that was behind me. So that's why it's always good to have backup. But you don't you want your backup to be somebody who knows what they're doing. You don't want to just let anybody be backup because no point of you making a run and then dying because somebody else died. You have to have this on hard so everybody has to survive. As soon as somebody dies. That's the end of you know, that's the end of it. Now, this is the glitch part. Once you get over here, I didn't even see that cop. <laughs> but once you get over here, what you want to do, you want to get the checkpoint so that everybody doesn't have to come. To do that, you have to destroy all the bikes, blow all the bikes, and then you kill yourself. Like I have heavy ice gear on, so I tried to kill myself, but you know, the gear protected me. So he killed himself. But as long as the bikes are destroyed first one of y'all commits suicide that's right that's supposed to happen what it does is starts you over now you start at the checkpoint of the bikes instead of you know if you die there you all you're doing right there is making sure you get the checkpoint so that when this start this mission starts up again you start at the bikes So again, everybody doesn't have to run. You want to keep the money inside the bank. And now we're here at this checkpoint, right? So this is what you're doing. The two people that are driving the bikes, because to go on the map with the bikes, you need two people that know how to drive the bikes. I'm going to show you in this video the route. So there's going to be two people that are driving the bikes. One of them has the money, right? And he knows how to drive the bike. And then somebody else is getting on behind him. Right, you see somebody's behind him. So when he's taking shots, I'm getting on behind him. He's getting behind the money. When he's taking shots, the uh, the guy on the bike behind him, so you're not losing any money. You don't want the money to be on the back of the bike. You prefer for the money to be driving the bike. So this is the route. You come out, you make a right, stay on this sidewalk, dodging some cops in between, and then you're gonna see. The yellow marker comes up, and you're going to make this right where the yellow marker says to go. Right, right here. You're going to go up the block, and then you're going to make this left in between the grass and that street. You make this left. Keep straight towards the end, and there's a cut between right here at this house. Just gonna go in between it. 
up the hill. Slowly go up here. And this is how you get in under the map. Go up to the wall, press both your right trigger and your left trigger to make the wheel spin like that. And then you just drive into the wall. The carefulest way to do it, hit the gas, but don't hold the gas. Just hit the gas and just kind of fall into it. And the person on the back of your bike doesn't need to touch anything. Also, make sure that you go in first person. Because uh, the screen, if you're not in first person, the screen flashes. And if you're epileptic, it can cause epileptic shock. So make sure you're in first person. Now, to control the bike under the map, all you're going to be doing is doing wheelies. So if you're going to use your left stick, and you're going to tap your left stick up and down just to be doing wheelies. Now, if you want to get it in a direction, use your right stick to point the arrow in the direction of the boat. You're going to the boat. So instead of having us drive to the boat and all this other stuff, under the map, it makes you go to the boat faster. It's just you got to get control over it. Left stick gives you momentum. The right stick points your, gives you the direction. So use the right stick to handle the direction. Make sure you're pointing towards the boat. Use your left stick to get there. Left stick up and down. Just popping willies. That's all you're doing, popping willies under the map. So you see we're headed towards the boat. The other team, they they gliding through there, getting through there fast. But even if you do this part slow just to get it done correctly, it doesn't matter. It's still faster than the armored car and the other ways to do this. It's still faster. Go out under the map. So this is what's important. The host, like I'm hosting, the host cannot drive the boat. When you get out, y'all going to be at the boat. Everybody's going to be swimming towards the boat. The host cannot be the one driving the boat. Also, this is where the host is getting ready to go to the quit screen. Make sure you bring yourself back out of, out of first person. And y'all are headed towards the boat. See, like we're now we're close to the boat and we didn't have to do, take that long route. Usually you can get right at the boat, but you know sometimes the controlling under the map can be a little difficult. And you guys see the money? We haven't lost any money. So I'm the host. I'm the last person in the boat. I'm getting in, and I'm not driving. So right here, I'm going to give you guys a message for the person quitting. Alright you guys, so this is right here at this part. If you are the host of Pacific Standard, this is why you could not be the hacker. You are going to be the one quitting out the mission. And you need to know how to quit out properly. So this is what you do. You hit the Xbox home button in the middle of your remote control. You hover over the GTA 5. You hit the start button when you're on GTA 5. You go to manage game and add-ons. You go down to save data. You click delete all. Then there's going to be a confirmation screen that comes up that says delete all save data for GTA 5. You're going to move over to the second delete all. And you're going to wait over top of that button until the, your team tells you to go. Your team is telling you to go when they pull their phones up. When they get in the boat, they're all going to pull their phones up. As they're headed towards the yellow marker, at the end of the mission, their phones are going to just automatically disappear. When their phones disappear, that's when they're going to tell you to go. That's when you're going to delete all. You're going to press A, delete all, and you're going to delete all your saved data. This is not going to mess up your saved data. You're not going to lose your character or your ratings or your ranks. All it's just doing is saying that you quit out the mission without completing the heist. So that allows you to go back into your apartment if you do it on time. Um, it allows you to go back into your apartment and you'll still be at the heist so you can keep repeating the heist so the next time you know the other player your your co-host the person that hosting it for you to pay you back the money is you know you'll still be at Pacific Standard with no setups but you have to do it this way you can't just quit out the game because if you quit out the game it's gonna send you to the prologue you're gonna um, lose it so and you're gonna have to do your setups over again so you need to make sure you know how to do this Xbox home Go to G, G down to GTA 5, start button, 
manage game at and add-ons go down to save data hit delete all one time and then hover over to delete all and wait for your team to tell you when their phones disappear they should tell you like go or now and that's when you hit it this is as soon as you get in the boat and if you are the host you cannot be driving the boat so as soon as you get in the boat you need to be hovering over to this screen and just sit in this screen until your team tells you to quit um, make sure they all know what to do most people do know like the phone way because this is the only way that you can quit out of this mission on time and still have it make sure you guys do this this is the most important step all right so I'm no I'm in the screen but this is somebody else who captured this somebody driving the boat captured this for me now everybody's phone is see he pulled his phone up when you're starting to head towards the yellow marker he pulls his phone up as his phone is going it's going to automatically okay his phone disappeared that's when he told me to go as soon as his phone disappeared he told me to go that's when I hit delete all so your the other team members have their phones up when the phone disappears they tell the person hosting go and that's when you hit delete all for the final time and you back out and you should be at the Xbox home and just restart start GTA back up you're gonna go to you're gonna get the sirens and right after that it should be saying syncing data if you get the syncing data message that means you got it right it's also another way to tell but like I said another player recorded this part of the video because I couldn't you even though you're gonna be in the video even though I'm in the video I'm not in the game so it's like you have to quit at that time so that everybody is still getting everybody else is still getting paid but you are actually no longer in the game so yeah y'all will see like right here this is just a, a thing you'll see towards the end of the mission you'll see where I like you'll see that I disappeared and somehow I'm gonna turn into a white woman my character is just gonna turn into a white woman a random white girl that's gonna be sitting beside everybody else that's who's in the game that's when you know the person who hosted they did it right when you get the white woman at the end of the screen at the end of the mission um, I hope this guys make sure you pay attention I hope this video helped you guys out um, Lucky Lefty, www.luckylefty.com, L-U-C-K-I-I-L-E-F-T-Y.com, Lucky Lefty on all social media, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Pinterest. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. Every Tuesday I do Gamer Tag Tuesdays on Xbox. I give away uh, $5 million, a million dollars to each new subscriber. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, leave me a comment, send me a message on Xbox Live. Uh, my gamer tag is Lucky Lefty Space Com. So it's Lucky Lefty Space because I couldn't put a dot in there. Com. Um, send me a message saying that you subscribed. And then on Tuesdays at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, I give away a million dollars to uh, five new subscribers. But yeah, you have to do this little cutscene with Lester. You can't get out of it. And then you see we passed it. Even though I'm no longer in the mission, you see the names, and you don't even see my name on there anymore, because I had hit the quit screen. But they still get everybody else still gets paid. So you got this whole thing is about timing towards the end. So there you go, guys. You can just rinse and repeat. Keep doing this mission, Pacific Standard under the map, with the bikes. The fastest way to do it, and keep making seven hundred and fifty thousand. Your friends make five hundred thousand in between. It's a good mission, good glitch, and just make some money, rank up some RP points. LuckyLefty.com